Welcome back. I kept mentioning this key term, iterable, but what does it really mean? Iterable, you're going to hear that over and over in Python programming and other programming languages as well. And as we discussed a little bit in the previous video, iterable simply means it is an object or a collection that can be iterated over. So again, an iterable can be a list, can be a dictionary, can be a tuple, can be a set. It's a collection of items. We also saw that a string could be iterable. Now, these things are iterable. Why? Because they can be iterated. That is, iterated means we can go one by one to check each item in the collection. And you're going to hear this over and over when talking to Python programmers. So you want to make sure that you have that vocabulary. You're iterating over something. You're looping over something. So iterable is the noun. And iterated or iterate is the action of iterating over an iterable. I know, it's, it's a little confusing. Now, many objects in Python, like I said, are iterable. But there's a few special ones that we haven't covered yet. Specifically, dictionary. We saw how lists, tuples, sets, and strings can be iterated. But what about an object? Let's say we have an object here. And this object will be users. And users or user will have a name of Gollum. We'll have age of 5006. Gollum's pretty old. And then we'll say, can swim? Gollum, let's say, cannot swim. False. What if we use this object right here for item in user and we print right here the item? What do you think will happen? Let's run this. Well, I get an error because I forgot a semicolon here. And we don't want equals. We want semicolon. And then obviously, this needs to be a string as well. Now, if I click Run here, look at that. I get name, age, and can swim. So I've printed the keys of the dictionary. Now, this dictionary, we have the keys. That's great. But hmm, what if I wanted actually the values? Is there a way to do this? Well, dictionaries have three methods that are really, really useful when we want to loop over their keys and values. The first one is items. And with items, when I do this and I click Run, you'll see that I get the key value pair in a tuple. And this is a very common pattern that you'll see a lot. Another one that we have is values. And guess what that does? That gives us the values of the dictionary. And we saw that user just leaving it blank gives us the keys. But we have a method that is more descriptive and allows us to show exactly what we want to do, which is keys. And if we run this, you'll see that I'm able to iterate over the keys. And these three methods are very common, and you're going to use them a lot in your programming career. So make sure you take note of them. Items, values, and keys. It allows us to iterate over dictionaries. But another interesting thing that you can do, and another common pattern when iterating over dictionaries, is what if you want to print, for example, separately the items, name, and column. So right now, we're returning a tuple. And we saw that we can do tuple unpacking, right? I can say key value 
equals item and then just print key value. If I run this, you see that I'm able to print these. But there's actually a shorthand way of being able to do this. In here, in the for loop, I can say key value and just completely avoid this entire line. And if I run this, there you go. It still works. And this, again, is a very common pattern where if you're collecting the items of a dictionary, you can separate them into key and value, or you might even see shorthand K and V. Again, these can be any variables that you want. You can name them whatever helps your code be more readable. By the way, just for fun, let's say in the last line here, I want to iterate over the number 50. What do you think will happen then if I click run? Sorry, name error. Name key. Oh, I get an error here because I haven't changed these. So let's change these back. That's not the error I was expecting. The error I was expecting was this. Type error. Int object is not iterable. Now, this error should make sense now because I've said it over and over. Why is it not iterable? Well, because it's not an object that can be iterated over. It's not a collection of items because we learned that in Python, these are iterable. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.